Yo, yo, what's going on, y'all? So I have a revelation coming from Holy Spirit. This revelation is coming from Song of Songs, chapter 6, verses 1 through 3. Where has your lover gone, O most beautiful among women? Where has your lover gone, that we may seek him with you? My lover has come down to his garden, to the bed of spice, to browse in the garden, and to gather lilies. My lover belongs to me, and I to him. He browses among the lilies. So the revelation that Holy Spirit gave me is, this is entitled Discovery. This scripture is entitled Discovery. And discovery means to find, locate, realization, recognition, revelation. Okay? So somebody is trying to, if somebody is looking for you, okay, somebody is coming into realization or recognition and having a revelation of who you are to them, okay, 111. Somebody is having a realization or recognition and a, or a revelation of who you are to them. And this is someone who may be looking for you, trying to find you, or locate you. And it says, My lover has gone down to his garden, to the bed of spice, to browse in the garden. The garden is a place of peace and spiritual refreshment. It is also an enclosure, an area that is sealed off with an artificial or natural barrier. The state of being enclosed in a religious community, especially an area surrounded by a wall fence that is used for a particular purpose. So there is someone who is coming into realization and recognition of who you are to them. This person may be trying to find you or locate you. But you are in a place of peace and spiritual refreshment. There is also a barrier around you, okay, enclosing you. You are enclosed in a religious community, the state of being enclosed in a religious community, okay? You are enclosed and surrounded by these people. These people are in a way acting as a wall or a fence that is used for a particular purpose. And this is what this person sees. And I feel that they, this person also feels that this is something that is delaying them from getting to you. This religious community, this fence, this wall that is used for this religious purpose. You going through this peace and this spiritual refreshment, you being in this garden, in this place, is delaying them from being able to get to you. Okay? Um, then it says, to browse in the garden to gather and to gather lilies. My lover belongs to me and I belong to him. He browses among the lilies. Lilies represent the purity of heart and soul, spirituality, divinity, new beginnings, nature of life, beauty, grace, love, and sympathy for the departed. And it mostly represents purity and innocence. So when this person looks at you, they see that this is this is what you are. This is who you are. Okay? You are someone who is, um, has a pure heart and soul. You are very spiritual and divine. You are this person's new beginning. 
Okay, you are beautiful, graceful, loving, and sympathetic to and for those who are, you know, that you have been departed from. Okay, those who you have lost or those who have been lost, you are sympathetic to those people. You are someone who has a very innocent and pure heart and a very innocent and pure spirit, okay, and soul. So the father gave me the number 117 with this. One 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 seven. Okay. One 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 seven. And it is a cargo freight. Acts five thirty four. But a Pharisee named Gamil, a teacher of the law who was honored by all the people, stood up in Sanhedrin and ordered that the men be put outside for a little while. Okay, I'm going to read the New, New Living Translation. But one member, a Pharisee named Gamil, who was an expert in religious law and respected by all the people, stood up and ordered that the men be sent outside the council chamber for a while. So again, this is somebody who feels like the place that you are in is delaying them from getting to you. It is keeping them from being able to get to you. This garden, this religious community, um... They feel like it's a fence that's serving a purpose of some type of some kind. And it the purpose that is serving is it is delaying this person from being able to get to you. Hence, stood up and ordered the man to be sent outside the council chamber for a while. Okay? This is somebody who can't get to you. This is why they are trying to find you, trying to locate you. This is somebody trying to discover you trying to see what's going on with you but they can't get to you they're being delayed in getting to you because of this garden that you're in this religious community that is surrounding you but this is also someone who knows that you are theirs and they are yours um it's also te- um, connected to the word a high place. Ezekiel 20 and 29. Then I said to them, what is this high place you go to? It is called Bama to this day. Bama is a high place. One that serves a sanctuary such as one originally devoted to a non-Israelite religion that later served as a place where Yahweh was worshipped. So this could be someone, the reason why this person has been set outside the garden and been commanded to be set outside the garden and they can't locate you, they can't see you, they can't get to you, they've been delayed and getting to you. It's possible even though this is someone who is yours and you are theirs. Um, this is someone who has, um, been back and forth in, um, serving other gods. One that serves as a sanctuary, such as as the one originally devoted to a non-Israelite religion, but later served as a place where Yahweh was worshipped. This is somebody, 9-11, this is somebody who keeps going back and forth. Like they want to worship God and then they go back to do whatever it is, whatever it is else that they're worshiping. They go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And this is why you are in an enclosed place. And this is why this person is being delayed in to, to get into you. Okay. You have been moved from this person. And they they this person can still see you. They know that, you know, you have a pure heart and soul and all of this other type of stuff, but they can't get to you. 
They're coming into realization and recognition and revelation of who you are to them. They're discovering who you are to them, but they can't get to you. And it's because they are going back and forth with God. And like they're going back and forth between God and the, and the lowercase God. Or like they're going back and forth between like right and wrong, good and evil. It's like they're going back and forth. And this is why they're being delayed into getting to you. And this is why they can't get to you. This is why you're in this enclosed area. But this person is coming into a realization about how beautiful you are. Amongst other women. Okay, and this person is watching you gather lilies and browse along among lilies. This person is watching you in your peace and in your spiritual refreshment. But they are you are enclosed in a place where they can't get to you. They can't get to you and they can't get to you. All they can do is watch because they are they are in the battle. With what the, what the, what it is they need to do? Either you're gonna serve God or you're not. Either you for God or you against them. Which what are you gonna do? Okay, what are you gonna do? And this is something that this person needs to figure out. What they gonna do? That's the message. That's the message. I don't think there's anything else. Nope. Peace.